All right, Professor Boone back with you again on 6.8. We're now moving into transformations. We've talked about these almost every chapter so far this year, and so we're just going to talk uh, specifically in polynomials again as we take a look at any time that we're going to add something, that's going to move it up. And then, of course, if we subtract it, it's going to move it down. All right, now remember that the horizontals are going to be in the parentheses, but they're backwards to what you would think. A minus inside is going to move it right, whereas a plus moves it left. All right, and then, of course, if we multiply out in front, that's going to stretch it if it's bigger than 1. If it's a fraction, it's going to compress it. Now, remember, the horizontals are backwards once again. It's inside the parentheses. If it's a fraction, it's going to stretch it, but if it's a number bigger than 1, it's going to compress it horizontally. Remember, anything inside the parentheses is horizontal. All right, and then, of course, we have our reflections across the x-axis as if we put the negative out front. Across the y is if we put it in between. Now, a couple things I want you to keep in mind is that if you're going to reflect across the x-axis, what you're going to end up doing is changing the sign of every term in that polynomial. We'll get to an example of that in a second. Uh, and then if it's the y-axis, you're only going to change the odd degree terms. So, so the x term, the x to the third, the x to the fifth. Everything else stays the same when you reflect across the y. All right, let's just try a few examples here, see if we can identify what they are. To identify the transformation, again, you have this, I have the slides available, you're certainly welcome to have that slide opened up and take a look at it. And let's see, it helps turn the mouse on, huh? All right, so again, what is an f of x, what's a minus 2 going to do? Well, remember, it's outside the parentheses, so that's going to move it down 2. Down 2 is the transformation. Just want you to identify what it is. All right, and here, now again, we're inside the parentheses, that means it's horizontal. Plus 3, that's going to move it left 3. Remember, those horizontals are backwards. Plus 3 actually moves it left 3 is what happens there. All right, another one here. f of x minus 5, again, outside the parentheses, vertical. Minus 5 moves it down 5 is what happens there. All right, let's get to some reflections. So let's talk about these again now. Remember, when you reflect across the x-axis, to write the transformation, you're going to change the sign of each and every one of those. So the reflection would be negative x to the third minus 5x squared plus 8x and then minus 1. See how you turn all of those. So again, that's the reflection across the x-axis. All right, so now what would happen if it was a reflection, same function, except now we're going to do it across the y-axis? All right. Well, in there, we just changed the odd degree term. So 3 is an odd degree, so we're going to change that to negative x to the third. Now that's an even one, so we're going to leave that alone. That's an odd degree, has a degree of 1, so we're going to change that to plus 8x. And then, of course, the constant has a degree of 0, so we're going to leave that alone and put 1. So notice the difference. Again, when you reflect across the x, change all of the terms, opposite. For the y, it's just the odd degree terms. Odd degree terms is what you change there. Okay, so there we go. So those are some transformations that we have. Refer back to those. I'm sure you'll do just fine. All right, now let's talk about ones like this. Here we go. Now, if we multiply out in front, remember that's vertical. That's going to be a vertical, since it's one-fourth, it's going to be a vertical compression. We're going to squeeze it down at one-fourth. But what happens if we go inside the parentheses? Well, that makes it horizontal. Remember, now, this isn't a compression. This is a stretch. We've got to flip through the reciprocal. It's going to be a horizontal stretch of two. Horizontals are backwards to what you'd see. All right, and then, of course, there's always some things here where we might want to start with a particular function. So we're going to start with 6x minus uh, 6x to the third minus 3. And we're going, to, we're going to do a couple of transformations here. We're going to compress it vertically by a factor of 1 third. Well, what that means is that we take our original function, we're going to multiply it by 1 third. Now we can simplify that. This becomes 2x to the third minus 1 if we distribute that. All right, so let's go on to the next function. We're going to shift it two units to the right. Now remember, to go to the right, what we do is in place of x, in the parentheses, we're going to put an x minus 2. And again, you don't need to simplify, you can leave it just like that, that works out just fine. So when we do uh, a couple transformations, always do one, try to simplify it, and then apply the next one after that. Okay, so that gets us all ready to go, transformation 6, 8. Should be able to get that worksheet done. Again, check your solutions, let me know if you have any questions, okay? That's 6, 8, until we see you next time.